the digital revolution in agriculture is really transforming the future of our food systems to be more precise and more sustainable. We can now manage plants at the individual plant level. And this is really because of applications of computer vision and AI. And to be able to develop these types of technologies and train them, we need image repositories. So we need a lot of high quality images of plants like these soybean crops that are growing at various different growth stages from all the way down to the seedling, all the way up to a you know, mature plant so that we can train the models to detect, you know, is this a soybeans? Is it a corn crop? Just like our you know, facial recognition software is on our phones. When we develop these types of uh, technologies and these training data sets with these images, we can then use those training data sets to train any one given technology. In this case, we're working a lot with this Oak D camera. This camera has a stereo camera capability, sort of just like our eyes, right? Where our eyes can create depth and look in three dimension. That's what a stereo camera enables us to do. And then it also has a centralized RGB camera. So this camera can do on the fly species recognition, as well as depth mapping. To be able to use a technology like this in the field, we need to develop the training data sets. And so in this case here, we're building image repositories, hash crop and our cover crop, our weeds, to be able to train these low cost cameras that we can then mount onto our tractors so that as we drive across the field, we can map both the species and the biomass in real time. So we use high resolution cameras like this one with a tablet where we build you know, web apps for you know, sort of automating the flow of our metadata that we collect while we're in the field, connected to the image that gets sent off to the cloud. And then we can develop training modules and training models from those images for these particular cameras. And then as we go through the field, these cameras are mapping the species, the biomass, and allowing us to then have subsequent management based on the performance of these plants.